thank you for joining us and if you are just joining this class also subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on for more of our videos here we want to solve this problem and uh, let's separate what we have the power of 3 here let it affect the number inside and we have 4 raised to power 4x 4 raised to power 3 over 3x plus 1 also r raised to power 3 so we use this power to affect each of the number similarly here we have x minus 1 r raised to power 3 divided by 3x plus 1 r raised to power 3 which is equal to 1 and we can see from here that we have the fcm as 3x plus 1 r raised to power 3 so when we clear the fraction by multiplying through with the SCM, you multiply this side with 3x plus 1 raised to power 3 to cancel each other. So we have 4x raised to power 3 left. Similarly, multiply this one with 3x plus 1 raised to power 3. We have x minus 1 raised to power 3 left. Then multiply this side with 3x plus 1 raised to power 3. We have 3x plus 1 raised to power 3 so that means we have cleared the fraction using the SCM and on this side we have something of the form a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which it can be written as a minus b multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square so we make use of this identity here now where our a is standing as 4x our b standing as x minus 1 so when we replace that and we rewrite what we have on the left hand side of this equation so it becomes a minus b that's 4x 4x minus b that's minus x minus 1 so that's a minus b then multiply by a square that's 4x squared then plus a b that's 4x times x minus 1 then plus b square that is x minus 1 squared so we close the bracket then equals to on this side we have equals to 3x plus 1 or raised to power 3 so what we have left on that side now here now we can simplify further and when we simplify further this bracket minus we open this bracket here then we are left with 4x minus x plus 1. 4x minus s, that's 3x. So we have 3x plus 1 here, left. Then when we expand this, we have 16x squared, that's 4x squared. We are going to raise 4 to power 2, that's 16, then x squared. Then plus, here 4x, open this bracket, that's plus 4x squared. Then minus 4x, 4x times minus 1. Then open this one as well. We have plus s squared minus 2x plus 1. That's the expansion of x minus 1 squared. Then close bracket, which is equal to what we have on the right hand side. That's 3x plus 1 or raised to power 3. And also simplifying further here, we have. What we have here already is 3x plus 1. Then this bracket can be reduced to, we have, we can add the like terms together. Everything with x squared added together, 16 plus 4 plus, you know, 1. This will give us 21x squared. Then we have minus 4x minus 2x, that's minus 6x. Then we have plus 1 which is equal to what we have on the right, that's 3x plus 1, or raised to power 3. So from there, 
let's take everything here to that side let's take everything here to that side so this side will become zero and then we rewrite this one first and we'll say 3x plus 1 raised to power 3 then minus when we take everything here that's 3x plus 1 then times 21x square minus 6x plus 1 which will give us 0 now because this side nothing will be there that's equal to 0 and also something is here that we need to see we can factor what is common here out and from here 3x plus 1 is common 3x plus 1 here 3x plus 1 here when we take it out we have 3x plus 1 out and open bracket what will be left here when we divide by 3x plus 1 is 3x plus 1 squared then minus what is left here after taking 3x plus 1 is 21x squared minus 6x plus 1 then close bracket equal to 0 then also simplifying further now we have what is here as 3x plus 1 then we can open this one this will be 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 that's the expansion of this you know that we have there then use minus to open this other bracket that's minus 21x squared then plus minus times minus plus 6x minus 1 which is equal to 0 and by the time we collect the like terms and we rearrange from here so we are going to have 3x plus 1 then what we have here nine x square minus 21 x square that will give us minus 12 x square then we have 6 x plus 6 x that will give us plus 12 x then plus 1 minus 1 cancel each other equal to 0 and also we can factor something out from here which is 12 x we now have 3 x plus 1 then 12 x out then what is left here is minus x and what is left here is 1 so I can write 1 minus x now then equals to 0 so we have 3 numbers that multiplies and give us 0 so here we have 3 solutions 3x plus 1 will be equal to 0 that's the first case and 12x will be equal to 0 the second case and also 1 minus x equals 0 that's the third one so from here when we solve this for x that's 3x equals to minus 1 plus 1 go there so divide both sides by 3 x equals to minus 1 over 3 so that's the solution here and also on this side divide both sides by 12 x equals to 0 over 12 which is equals to x equals to 0 so this is another solution here and from here we have minus x when we take it there that's plus x we can see now x equals to 1 so this is the solution so we have these three solutions x equals to 1 x equals to 0 and x equals to minus 1 over 3 and this is the end of this solution here we say thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.